Maki Haka of Full Fat Grappling, doing a video to show you how and why I take my fingers up for judo um, specifically. So I've been doing judo for 25 years and over the years I've slowly developed a bit of pain every time my fingers get straight. So two occasions for instance, rolling break falls as you break fall on the mat, um, finger goes straight, rush of pain, and then grip fighting. So if I'm gripping on someone's gi and they rip it out, finger goes straight, rush of pain. So what I've tended to develop over the years is a way of just uh, taking the finger slightly bent. Two reasons, A, to stop my finger going straight so I don't get the pain, and B, just gives me a slightly better gripping position. So of course, if you're gripping someone, you want this anyway. So if you take the finger in that position, that's the minimum you're gonna get. Okay, so it can only get stronger from that position. So let's uh, give you a little demo. So take a roll, this is zinc oxide tape. Um, generally looks kind of this thickness all the way through. And what I've done is I've taken one centimeter strips. So I've taken three one centimeter strips off of this uh, roll, um, ripped them slightly, gone all the way around, used one, one strip, used the next lock, and now I'm onto my last one on this roll. So I pull it out. 40-50 centimetres. It rips really easy this stuff and it's really rigid so it doesn't doesn't flex so you don't need to do it really tight otherwise you cut off the circulation to your finger. So starting with a little finger so just here it's slightly bent anyway because it's stuck like that. Start at the top and I wrap around just once like this and then I zigzag cross over to the bottom from the front So I've got that there, so I've crossed over. I go round the bottom, and then I zigzag back to the top. So I've got a cross on the front, and two strips on the back. So I've got my finger slightly bent, now I'm gonna bend it a little bit more, and I go back to the bottom again. Round the bottom. And then back to the top again. My finger already in a bent position. And then finish off just like that. Give it a squeeze. And now you see I've taped it so it's stuck in a bent position. You can do it more if you want to, but the problem is if you go in for a grip, obviously your finger's not open as much and you're likely to get a bit of a, a stub on it, which can hurt just as much as a dead straight finger. So now I've got it stuck in a C position, just like that. And you'll see people, some people tape it different, some people go around the knuckles. I tend to find that inhibits my movement if I go around the knuckles. And also by putting something underneath the knuckle really thick, it levers the outside of the knuckle apart. So it prizes it apart, which gives me even more pain. So I tend to just go around the bottom and around the top. And throughout Randori, if I start riding up, I can pull it back down, add a bit more tape, a little bit tighter, and keep using the same tape throughout one Randori session. So there we go. Hopefully that helps. Some people are going to do it a different way, but this is this is what works for me, um, has done for um, the last few years. So give it a go and see how it goes for you.